Do you know what thyroid test you need to get if you have a thyroid disorders? This is what we are going to talk about today. Hi, I am Dr. Anshul Gupta. I am a functional medicine and a thyroid expert. I help people reverse their thyroid diseases by making personalized functional medicine plans. So most of the females who have a thyroid disorder only get one thyroid testing done, which is called TSH. But often TSH alone is not enough to do complete testing of your thyroid gland. We have all different kinds of tests available to check your thyroid gland. But unfortunately, conventional medicine only does one kind of testing, which is called TSH. Now with doing one test, we often misdiagnose thyroid disorder or we mismanage the thyroid disorder. So that's the reason several females who have a thyroid disorder, even though the thyroid numbers look fine, which is just a TSH, they still continue to suffer from several symptoms because we are not doing the complete testing. So that's what we're going to talk about today. What does a complete thyroid test look like? Okay. So why should we do a complete thyroid test? Right. So for that, I think we should first understand how thyroid hormone is made in your body. Now, this is going to be a little bit complicated, but try to follow me as best as you can. Okay. So the first thing which happens in your body where your thyroid hormone is produced is all the way in your brain. There is a part in your brain which is called hypothalamus. Now, hypothalamus secretes a hormone which is called TRH, which is thyrotropin releasing hormone. Now this hormone secreted from hypothalamus goes to your master pituitary gland, which is called pituitary. Okay. Now this TRH hormone asks your pituitary to produce a different hormone, which is called TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. Now this is the hormone which is most commonly checked, you know, people who have thyroid disorder. Now this TSH hormone which is produced by the pituitary gland goes to your actual thyroid gland, which is located right in your neck. Okay. And this TSH asks your thyroid gland to start producing thyroid hormone, but it starts producing a thyroid hormone, which is called T4. Okay. Now this T4 is the most common hormone, which are prescribed to you as a medicine. Now this T4 hormone now goes into your body onto different parts of your body. And when it goes to the different parts of your body into your cells, this T4 hormone needs to be converted to a more active form of thyroid hormone, which is called T3. Okay. So you see, it's kind of a complex phenomenon how your thyroid hormone is made all the way starts into your brain in hypothalamus, then goes to your pituitary, then goes to your thyroid gland. And then it actually needs to be converted into a more active thyroid hormone, the T3. Now, if you see, there are so many different thyroid hormones, but we only check one thyroid hormone, which is a TSH. And now you might know that why the problem might be there, right? So it's very important and it's easy that we can check all these different thyroid hormones that gives us a complete picture of what is going on with your thyroid gland and so that we can manage it better. Okay. Now this is the number one reason that the thyroid is undiagnosed for a long time. Several females come to see me that, you know, they had thyroid symptoms for such a long time and the doctor keep checking TSH and it's always normal. And they said, oh, you don't have a thyroid problem until one day, several years later on, the TSH does come back abnormal. But what we see is that if we do a complete thyroid profile, you know, then we can actually diagnose thyroid disorder much earlier and take action. And the second problem is that once you get diagnosed with a thyroid problem, the only hormone again being checked is TSH. And based on that TSH, your medicine levels are being changed or managed. Now, again, you know, females with thyroid, hor with thyroid disorder often uh, are mismanaged or have symptoms which are not getting better, even being on the treatment. The reason being that the TSH alone doesn't help us out to manage the thyroid hormone perfectly. So it's very important again to check all the different thyroid hormones so that we can manage your medicines in a better way. So these are all the different reasons that why it is very important to check all the different kinds of thyroid hormones so that first we can do an early diagnosis of the thyroid disorder. Second of all, we can actually manage it better. And the third important reason is that there is a, there's a condition in thyroid disorder, which is called Hashimoto's. And if you just check the TSH, we are often missing the diagnosis of Hashimoto's. Now, what is Hashimoto's? Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition of your thyroid gland, which is leading the destruction of your thyroid gland. Now, Hashimoto's is the number one reason of hypothyroidism or low thyroid in the world currently. 
So if you're not diagnosing or if you're not doing blood work to check for Hashimoto's, we are miss, missing the opportunity to diagnose Hashimoto's. So let's talk about all the tests that you need to check your thyroid completely as well as to check for Hashimoto's. Oh, okay. The first test is TSH. Okay. Now this is a test which each and everybody gets, you know, which is called thyroid stimulating hormone. This is the hormone which is secreted by the pituitary, goes to the thyroid gland and helps it to start producing thyroid hormone. So if your TSH is on the high side, that means you have low thyroid. Okay. And if your TSH is on the low side, then you have a high thyroid. Okay. So it's kind of difficult to understand, but basically it's that the level of TSH you know, is opposite to what your thyroid is doing. Okay. So TSH is easy test to do. You know, I think everybody should get it and everybody is getting it. Now let's talk about the other thyroid hormone. So the next thyroid hormone level that you need to get checked is called T4. Okay. Now this T4 hormone, remember, is the inactive version of your thyroid hormone, which is produced by the thyroid gland. Okay. There are two forms of T4 that can be checked in your blood. One is a total T4 and a free T4. Okay. Now, what is the difference? The difference is that when your thyroid gland produces the thyroid hormone, it basically stores the thyroid hormone or the thyroid hormone circulates in your body in a more protective form, which is bound to certain proteins. Okay. So it's basically those are like, you know, you can say vehicles which carry your thyroid hormone. Okay. So the total T4 gives us a complete picture of your T4 in your body, which is bound to this protein okay the free t4 actually is the actual t4 which is being used by your body okay so that's very important to check both the total as well as the free t4 because we often see that the total is fine but the free t4 might be on the lower side and that might again be the reason that you're not feeling good okay so this is the second test that you get which is a t4 hormone both total as well as a free t4 now the third hormone levels that you need to get checked is the t3 hormone now remember T4 is an inactive version of your thyroid hormone. It goes to the different parts of your body, different cells of your body and gets converted to T3, which is active form of the thyroid hormone. Now this T3 also is formed into two, like is, is majorly in the free T3 form. So it is very important to check the free T3 form because that's the actual thyroid hormone, which is doing the work. So if you're not checking it again, we are missing the opportunity of knowing exactly what your thyroid gland is doing. So this is the third hormone that you need to get checked again that is called the T3 okay now these three uh, hormone levels can easily be checked with any lab so TSH T3 T4 everybody should get that done okay now the next hormone level which is the fourth hormone is called reverse T3 now this hormone is kind of a little, little bit difficult to check because not all the lab testing do it and your regular doctors will not be aware of the reverse T3 what is reverse T3 so remember, you know, T3 is a hormone which actually, you know, leads to uh, the benefit of your body by utilizing the T3 hormone and, you know, doing all these functions. Now, reverse T3 is the opposite of your regular T3. So if T3 hormone is your accelerator or, you know, like the gas pedal, which causes your body to work. The reverse T3 is the brake pedal, which is not letting your body to work. So that's a bad hormone. Okay, you can say that. So reverse T3 is also very important to know because in some people the reverse T3 is so high. So even your T3 hormone is level, is fine. Your reverse T3 hormone levels might be too high and it is not letting your T3 hormone to work properly. So that's the reason it is also good to check your reverse T3 so that we can know if it is high or not and we can do something to get it better. But as I said, your regular doctor might not be knowing about it. So that's the reason maybe working with a functional medicine doctor might be a good choice because he or she can help you out to get the reverse T3 hormone levels done. Okay. So these are the four hormone levels that, you know, uh, are required uh, to check your proper functioning of your thyroid gland. Now, next, uh, the set of blood tests that you need to get is to check for Hashimoto's. Now, as I said, Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition. And if you are not doing proper blood work, we are actually missing the diagnosis of Hashimoto's. And why is it important to know that you have Hashimoto's or not? Because Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition and the antibodies which are formed with Hashimoto's disease is destroying your thyroid gland. Now, over the course of several years, these antibodies lead to the destruction of your thyroid gland. And that is the reason you get hypothyroid or low thyroid. So if you do the proper testing and check your Hashimoto's in a very, very early stage, we can do things 
to load your antibodies and safeguard your thyroid gland. So it is very important to check these antibodies or check if you do have Hashimoto's or not. Several females who have thyroid disorders for like 20 plus years, they come to see me and ask them, do you have Hashimoto's? And they said, I have no idea. And then once I order the testing to check for their antibodies, they are super high. And I said, oh, well, you have Hashimoto's. And for 20 plus years, they never knew that they had Hashimoto's. So it's so important to make sure that you get these testing done too. So the two tests to check for Hashimoto's are the two antibodies. One is called thyroglobulin antibodies. Now these thyroglobulin antibodies are the antibodies which are produced against a protein in your thyroid gland, which is called thyroglobulin. And these antibodies again leads to the destruction of the thyroid gland and ultimately causes low thyroid or hypothyroid. And we have seen that in autoimmune thyroid conditions like Hashimoto's, the thyroglobulin antibodies are high. So it is very important to get them checked. The second set of antibodies you need to check is called TPO antibodies or thyroid peroxidase antibodies. Okay, these are again antibodies which are produced against the tissue of your thyroid gland. And these are shown that in Hashimoto's disease, 95% of people who have Hashimoto's disease, these thyro, uh, thyroid peroxidase antibodies were high. So it's very important to check these also because they also lead to the destruction of your thyroid gland. So these are the two antibodies, which is the thyroglobulin and TPO antibodies that you need to get checked. Again, regular labs can do it. So talk to your regular doctor and make sure you do get checked for Hashimoto's disease because it's very important. So this is what we look like as a complete thyroid profile. Okay, not just one thyroid hormone TSH, but we need to get TSH, T4, T3, reverse T3, all these hormones to check how your thyroid is functioning. And then we also need to check if you do have Hashimoto's or not by checking the two antibodies, which is the thyroglobulin as well as the TPO antibodies. Okay, so this is a complete thyroid testing. I hope this helps you. Um, thank you so much. Okay, as I said, I do offer online virtual functional medicine consultations for people who have a thyroid disorders to help them reverse the thyroid disease. So if you're interested in working with me, the link is in the description. All right, bye-bye.